about radio. I've got that on uh, 1.79997 uh, this uh, let's say this advance uh, is very very twitchy uh, but that's going to be close enough and uh, I'm looking for 1.8 here and you can see that it that is slightly adrift So that's where it should be. That's where it is. Well, I've got the uh, the radio upside down now, and uh, this is the tuning section in the middle of the screen. Uh, if you want to see what it looks like under there, have a look at uh, About Radio Part 23, as uh, I show you uh, what's under there. But I'm I will be taking that. Uh, cover off now. Uh, what I will do before I get too carried away is I'll check the um, the alignment at either end of band 4 because uh, I only need to remove this top cover if I want to get at the cores um, because there, there are trimmers and cores uh, for the first second uh, for the first and for the second RF sections and for the oscillator and I only need to take that top off if uh, if the cores need adjusting. Um, uh, the wisdom is that if the high end frequency is out then uh, one would adjust a, a capacitor trimmer but if the low end frequency is out then you need to adjust the uh, the core so the L. Um, so well, I'll just check that out first. What I've done now is confirmed that um, the calibration is uh, out significantly at, uh, at both ends. I've got the um, signal generator um, at 2.4 megs, which ought to be here. Um, but uh, as you'll see, it's over here somewhere. Um, Uh, when I set it to 2.5, which should have been here, I couldn't I couldn't find it at all. Um, so uh, uh, so I'll have that cover off. So with the radio upside down, you can see that uh, it says one, two, three, four, five, and um, these are the uh, lines of trimmers and inductors, so capacitors, inductors and then in the radio itself um, uh, so this is uh, number one band one and then band two band three band four and band five so it's only these uh, that is of any interest to me and uh, I don't want to adjust anything needlessly last thing I want to be doing is twiddling uh, something over here when I should be <laughs> wanting to uh, adjust it over there. This is the trimmer for the oscillator. There. I say so at the moment that's at the wrong frequency. So what I'm going to do is uh, just set the dial to um, the frequency that I want, which uh, in this case is going to be 24 megs. That's what my uh, signal generator is set at, and then here I just set that to 24 megs. Get straight behind it. So there, that's uh, that's 24 megs. And now I'll go and look for it. Okay, so we've disengaged some capacitance there. So 
So that's uh, where I'm looking for the 24 there. And now I'm going to go to 25 uh, meg and I'll just tune up the uh, signal generator and just check that uh, I get that. Okay, I've got the um, signal generator on 2.5 megs. I think I may have said 25 megs before, but it's 2.5 megs there. And uh, that looks to be okay there. And I uh, say, so, uh, first of all, I couldn't uh, I couldn't find 25 megs with the with the pointer over here somewhere. You know, it, it would have been off the scale. Okay, so let's go down the band and see. Here we are there that well I'll have to retune everything. Um, I'll go to the other end of the band now. Okay I've moved to the other end of the band and uh, where it says 1.11 remember the radio is upside down so 1.11 megs and uh, it was actually uh, again tuning with the 1.1 with the pointer um, sort of way off uh, to the side here, as, oh, that's as far as it would go, and I got the impression that the actual f uh, frequency was over here. Um, so what I've done is I've set the signal generator to 1.2 megs there, and I've um, adjusted the core to give me um, the, uh, the correct tune in there. I'll show you the core that I've adjusted. So this is the core, and I don't know if you, if you would actually get in how much I'm turning this, but it's a very small amount. And I'm using a, a plastic tool for this job. And when I was adjusting the trimmer, I was using this tool, which um, uh, is a, a it's a metal blade, but it's uh, fully isolated or insulated uh, with this uh, plastic handle. There. Uh, and what I'll do is I'll just drop this cover back on. I just wanted to check that none of the capacitors were uh, affected by this plate. I've now got the signal generator set at um, 1.7 megs and uh, that's what I get there. So I'm very pleased with that because I've set uh, the frequency at either end of the scale and um, uh, obviously the linearity of the scale is such that it's uh, it's right. Now in actual fact what I've been showing you is not the way to do it uh, according to the manual. Uh, what they say is that uh, you should use the beat frequency oscillator and um, so uh, you should use this device up here. So what I will do now is I'll switch that on so I'll be switching that on and I'll be switching off this generator that's providing that was providing an audio tone into uh, the advance so if you like this is a transmitter and this is uh, putting the intelligence or the the music on the uh, on, onto the carrier wave. So um, now we're going to be using the uh, the beat frequency oscillator. Beat frequency oscillator is um, another oscillator that runs in this equipment, um, and when the two beat together, there should be no sound. Um, probably not describing that very well. So uh, obviously I've still got the radio upside down and I'm going to zoom in there okay and it's that 1.7 so look as I go up in frequency now 
Now there's two frequencies, the, the, um, the radio frequency that we're listening to and the beat frequency oscillator are beating together and cancelling out. Now it's going the other way. So I think that's pretty accurate. Certainly accurate enough for me. What I've done for completeness is I've gone to the other end of the band again, up to the top end to the uh, 2.5. Uh, so that's uh, there. And that's again with the, the beat frequency oscillator. And uh, the signal generator is set at 2.5 megahertz. So I'm very pleased with that. And uh, oh, just uh, again, the, there's the beat frequency oscillator control, and that's just just shifting that frequency just a a, a little bit um, of the of the BFO. Okay, guys, I hope you found that interesting. Um, what I'll do next is I'll. Um, have a look at uh, a line in the IF transformers. Um, thanks for watching. Bye bye.